we just finished looking at the deterministic problem for the Colonial State College. Now what we're going to do is, instead of having a single time estimate here for each of the activities, each of the eight activities, we are going to have three time estimates, a optimistic, so a faster time, a most likely, uh, the book I think calls it most probable, and then um, a pessimistic. And then we're going to take a weighted average where we put four as the weight on the, t on the most probable one, most likely and a one for each of the others and to get the average we take the weighted average which is one plus a plus four times m plus one times b divided by six so I have come up with these activity times for optimistic most probable and pessimistic for each of the activities so let's go ahead and use the Excel add-in to do this. So we go up to add-ins, OMIE, new problem. Uh, let's call this CSC stochastic or probabilistic. Same thing. Number of activities 10. Remember we had 8, but we have to include the start and end in the number. So we have to add 2 to it. So we need 10. Max predecessors was 2. Number of resources are going to keep a 0. We have weeks and I'm going to uncheck hide computations. I'm going to keep random data in there to show us what it looks like. And now instead of fixed, uh, we actually want the random. So the random will give us that weighted average, which is, is having cer certain assumptions in there gives us the beta distribution. For our purposes, it's, easy, it's a good approximation. That's all we need to worry about. So we want random for this one, for the stochastic. Click OK. And now we see that we have similar to what we had before. So I'm going to copy over this stuff, uh, paste values, All right? And then also for the predecessors, uh, let's do this, and let's paste values, All right? So we have the predecessors in there, and then the thing that we need to deal with now is the minimum, most likely, and maximum. Right? And it will calculate the mean and standard deviation of variance on all that for us. So we have four, five, six. Uh, no, sorry, four, five, twelve. All right. Then we have seven, eight, nine. 10, 12, 14. For activity D, it's a 1, a 4, and a 7. Activity E is a 4, a 6, and an 8. Activity F is 12, 15, 18. G is 6, 11, 22. And H is 6, 7, 14. So let's go ahead and do this. And I'm going to actually, I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's do this. So we notice right here we get the means, right? 6, 8, 12, 4, 6, 15, 12, and 8. That's what we had last time. I, I've made up those numbers on purpose. The standard deviation and the variance are the interesting things, right? The variance 1.1 1 and 7 ninths here, 1 ninth here, 4 ninths here. 1, 4 ninths, 1, uh, 7 and 1 ninth. So G has a very large variance, right? very large spread. And then 1 and 7, eight, seven ninths here. So if we go ahead and click Solve, we should get critical activities. Again, are B, C, E, F, and H. And the critical time in weeks is 49 weeks. We get the variance for the critical path and standard deviation for the critical path. So again, if we had 45 weeks, there'd be no slack in the schedule and we're four weeks overdue. Uh, so if we get click critical, again, it highlights the predecessors over here, even though we'd already seen the critical activities in the red over here, off to the far left. And then we can Again, the interesting thing here is the graph. So I want the slack, the start time, finish time, 
and the name on all arcs and we'll call it that and we see that again the activity times right the the slack and then also the um, critical path isn't as highlighted and then from this what we could do is we could do a bunch of different probabilistic calculations which we're going to do by hand and then in Excel later on so I'm not going to do that in this video but we can use what the critical path is and the variance and figure out things such as what's the probability that I will be finished in 50 weeks right on time probability it calculates it for me it's almost 70 percent 49 weeks what is the probability I'll be finished in 49 weeks you should automatically know this without me having to hit enter but let me hit enter and see if your assumption so take two seconds and decide, and come up with a guess for what the on the on time probability will be if I put in 49 so one Mississippi two Mississippi and it is 0.5 right because that is the mean so half the time we'd finish in that amount of time half the time we wouldn't if we did this project over and over and over again so we'll have some of the probability stuff will be calculated for us we'll do some other stuff that's more interesting by hand and then show you how to do that in Excel as well so that is the stochastic version where we're taking three time estimates and weighting them that's a weighted average and coming up with the critical path again and also looking at the variance and standard deviation for the entire project